to try to fight as best I could. Uh, I remember like guys were stripping me of my gear, these riders uh, pulling my badge off my chest. Um, they ripped my radio off of uh, off my vest, started pulling uh, like ammunition magazines from their holder uh, on my belt. And then some guys started getting a hold of my gun and uh, they were screaming out, um, you know, kill him with his own gun. Um, at that point, you know, it was just like self-preservation. Um, you know, how do I survive this situation? And I thought about, you know, using deadly force. I thought about shooting people. Um, and then I, I just came to the conclusion that you know, if I was to do that, you know, I might get a few, but I'm not going to take everybody and uh, they'll probably take my gun away from me. And that would definitely give them the justification that they were looking for to kill me uh, if they already didn't have made that up in their minds. Uh, so the other option I thought of was, you know, try to appeal to somebody's humanity. Um, and I, I just remember yelling out that I have kids and uh, it seemed to work. Um, some people in the crowd started to encircle me and try to offer me some level of protection. Um, and they gave, you know, that provided me with like enough time or, or other officers, uh, specifically my partner, Jimmy Albright, enough time to get to me and get me the hell out of there uh, and back into the west front of the Capitol. Um, a lot of people have asked me, you know, my thoughts on uh, the individuals in the crowd that, um, you know, that helped me uh, or, or try to offer some assistance. Uh, and I, I think kind of the conclusion I've come to is like, you know, thank you, but f you for being there.